I can assure you, I mean you no harm. Who are you? Who? Who is but the form following the function of what, and what I am is a man in a mask. Oh, I can see that. Of course you can. I'm not questioning your powers of observation. I'm merely remarking upon the paradox of asking a masked man who he is. Oh, right. But on this most auspicious of nights, permit me then, in lieu of the more commonplace soubriquet, to suggest the character of this dramatis persona. Voila! In view, a humble vaudevillian veteran, cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate. This visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is a vestige of the vox populi, now vacant, vanished. However, this valorous visitation of a bygone vexation stands vivified and has vowed to vanquish these venal and virulent vermin, vanguarding vice and vouchsafing the violently vicious and voracious violation of volition. The only verdict is vengeance, a vendetta held as a votive, not in vain, for the value and veracity of such shall one day vindicate the vigilant and the virtuous. <laughs> Verily, this vicious soise of verbiage veers most verbose, so let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you, and you may call me V. Are you like a crazy person? I am quite sure they will say so. But to whom might I ask am I speaking? I'm Evie. Evie? Evie. Of course you are. What does that mean? It means that I, like God, do not play with dice and do not believe in coincidence. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks to you. Oh, I merely played my part. But tell me, do you enjoy music, Evie? I suppose. You see, I'm a musician of sorts and on my way to give a very special performance. What kind of musician? Percussion instruments are my speciality, but tonight I intend to call upon the entire orchestra for this particular event and would be most honored if you could join me. I don't think so. I think I should be getting home. I promise you it'll be like nothing you've ever seen, and afterwards you'll return home safely. All right. It's beautiful up here. A more perfect stage could not be asked for. I don't see any instruments. Your powers of observation continue to serve you well. But wait! It is to Madame Justice that I dedicate this concerto in honor of the holiday she seems to have taken from these parts and in recognition of the imposter that stands in her stead. Tell me, do you know what day it is, Evie? Um, November the 4th. Not anymore. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. First, the overture. Yes. Yes, the strings. Listen carefully, can you hear it? Now the brass. I can hear it. Look outside, Mummy. They're playing music. How did you do that? Wait. Here comes the crescendo. 